Hello, and praise the sun. I'm Daniel Stern. Of course, you may know me as the Code Whisperer. In this video, I'm going to do my best to explain this weird concept called modules. Now, modules have been around for a while, so you've probably seen them. Before. We're going to learn hands on how to use a number of different module types. Now, unlike some of my different videos, you can't really show modules inside a browser. You're going to need to have an IDE. So here I am, I'm using WebStorm, but you can use Sublime or Atom. Just, just go ahead and open it up right now if you want to code along at home. All right, so I'll start by making a new file. And I'll call it main.js. Now here in main.js, I'll define two variables. So I have a and b, which are equal to 10 and 20. Now I'll also define a function as a constant. And at the end of our function, we'll just call addition with the two arguments. So to end, we'll just say addition a, b. Now, if we open up the terminal and try this code, we can do so by typing node main.js. So we just need to add a console log around this so it shows up. You could use a return statement, but I was getting a bit of an error for doing that. Now, as you can see, the correct answer is 30. Great, so we've written an addition function, but where does modules fit into all of this? Well, in fact, we've got a lot of different kinds of things in this file. We've got our two constants, a and b, which probably represent universal numbers. Then we have our addition, which is actually a method, which you know might have advanced logic added to it down the line. So what we really want to do is separate these concerns into different files. And that's what we can do with modules. So now we'll make a new file and we'll call it numbers.js. Now I'll take my two numbers from main.js and move them to numbers.js. All right, so they're in different files, but if we look at main.js, there is no a and b in this scope. We need to have a and b in the scope for this statement to make sense. So to get those from numbers, we actually have to export the variables from the file. The reason for this is that if we didn't specifically explain our exports, if a and b were just automatically exported, then we could unwittingly be overwriting other variables that are also called the same things. So the way we can do this is we'll say module.exports equals. Now, this is a bit confusing because module is sort of a magic word. It's not in the specification and it's not defined inside of some browsers, but inside of Node, it is defined. And if you make the exports property of modules equal to something, well, that'll let you require the variables in a different file. So I'll just say my module exports equals an object with a, which is equal to a, and b, which is equal to b. You'll notice I'm using the shorthand syntax, so I can just say a comma b. Now, if we try to run numbers.js, nothing happens because it's just exporting something. Now let's try to run main.js. And it says a is not defined as expected. So let's go up to our file. So now we can say const numbers equals require. And here we pass the path to the file dot forward slash numbers dot js. The dot forward slash is required because otherwise it'll think it's a node module. But actually we don't need the dot js because it will add, try and add that automatically. 
Now we'll also define a const a equals numbers dot a const b equals numbers dot b. Now let's see if it works. And it works. As you can see here at the bottom, we have our output of 30. We can also import them at the same time and save the statement by saying const curly brackets a comma b equals numbers. And that's just going to destructure numbers for us. Today's video has been brought to you by Savvy.is. Savvy.is, what better way to learn code or any other sort of stuff than in a one-on-one -on -one lesson with some kind of teacher? Look at those people on the screen. They certainly look very happy, and you could be among them. As a teacher, I really, really want to spend time with each and every one of you one-on-one, -on -one, making sure you understand everything. I just can't do that. So that's what savvy is. You know what? Just go ahead and sign up within the free using the coupon code code whisperer to get a discount off your first lesson. And I've also got a link below. So just click the link below or go to savvy.is forward slash question mark ref equals code whisperer. And be sure to enter the coupon code code whisperer for your opportunity. They've got all these great coding teachers. Coding is fun, right? These people all really know what look like they know what they're doing.